What's up guys, Mikkel here, and in this video, we're going to talk about something pretty highly controversial, something I am definitely going to get shit for, and that is whether or not Ripple has an incentive to make us rich. In this video, we're going to talk all about Ripple and XRP. Do they care about increasing the value of XRP? There are a lot of people in our community who don't think Ripple has any incentive to increase the price of XRP, and XRP is just a tool for Ripple to raise more money. In this video, we're going to talk about that, but towards the end of the video, go over some brand new clips involving Ripple's involvement in central banks. Make sure to stick around for that. I think one of the videos I'm going to show you, you're going to find very interesting. Like always, your support means so much to this channel. If you enjoy these videos, make sure to take a quick second to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's really going to help me out so much. Also, if you ever need a good place to buy some XRP or the Flare token, make sure to check out my favorite exchange uphold down in the description of this video. With that said though, let's jump right into it and I hope you guys enjoy the content. So I want to start off this video and get into the controversial part and before I even jump into this, I just want to say King Solomon, I respect you so much. If you watch this video, please don't take it the wrong way. The only reason I'm making this video is because I think it's a really interesting topic. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying you're wrong. I just want to talk about this because this is something that gets brought up all the time in the XRP community and we just happen to have different views on it. So I want to start off and go over the he put out because it's actually what I responded to and then just go over our conversation and let you guys kind of decide where you stand on this argument. So King Solomon tweeted out, I'll say this again for the last damn time. Stop thinking about hashtag Ripple. Start thinking about XRP. If the network itself doesn't gain adoption outside of Ripple, it will be an insignificant piece of human history for multiple reasons. Ripple has no incentive to make you rich. Now, Based on everything he said there, I agree with most of it. I think we really do need to see a lot of adoption of the XRP ledger outside of Ripple for it to become significant in the future, and I think we're kind of trending in that direction. But the part I disagreed with him and the part I was kind of arguing was that Ripple has no incentive to make us rich. So I want to quickly go over what I said in response to that. I said Ripple actually does have an incentive to make us rich because it also makes them rich. Ripple Plus co-founders are the biggest XRP whales out there. They want a high-priced XRP just as much as we do, if not more. And the main reason I said that is because at the end of the day, Ripple's entire valuation is heavily dependent on the price of XRP. Ripple has over 45 billion XRP in their back pocket. You're telling me it doesn't matter to them whether that XRP is worth $1 or $10? At $1, they're an average sized company in the United States or an average sized S&P 500 company in the United States. But at $10, they're one of the most valuable companies in the entire world. They have so much more power. So clearly, Ripple does care about the price of XRP. It makes their company more valuable. And the other thing is, is the co-founders probably care a lot about the price of XRP as well. I mean, we all understand that as you get more and more rich, you actually never really become satisfied with what you have. You just want to keep making more money. Almost any millionaire or billionaire out there will tell you that. So I'm fully convinced that the Ripple co-founders aren't satisfied with what XRP is today, they want XRP to go up for the same reason we want XRP to go up. We all want to make money. So first, I just want to point out, I'm fully convinced both Ripple and Ripple's co-founders want to see XRP's price go up. And we didn't even get to why XRP going up would be good for Ripple's business. We all know that XRP at a higher price is more liquid than XRP at a lower price. So the whole network, Ripple's whole business model works better if XRP is at a higher price. The network is exponentially more liquid. So what I just wanted to go over there is the first part of the argument that I'm trying to make here. Ripple and its co-founders want XRP to go up. Now, in that same exact sentence, if Ripple wants the price of XRP to go up for their own reasons, well, they're also pumping my bag too. I have a share in the XRP network, so we both want the same thing, the price of XRP to go up. So I just kind of disagree with this idea that Ripple has no incentive to make me rich. No, they don't have any incentive to show up at my house with a million dollars and say, here you go, we like you, here's a million dollars, now you're rich. But they do have an incentive to pump the same asset that I want to go up. And so does every other person in this ecosystem. We all have an incentive for the price of XRP to go up. Now, King Solomon actually responded to this and said, so you're telling me XRP is a security? Essentially saying, if Ripple wants to make XRP go up for my benefit, that makes XRP a security. And this I just completely disagreed with, and I don't want to get into the legal arguments here, it's not really important, but a common interest is not a common enterprise. This is not a prong of the Howey test. Me and the biggest gold miner in the entire world, 
we can both want gold to go up because as they sell more gold, they make more money and they pump the price of my gold. But that doesn't make gold a security of anyone. It's completely insignificant. So overall, the main thing I want to prove here is not necessarily that one of us is right or wrong, but I think it's important to understand that Ripple totally has an incentive in line with what we want. We all want to see XRP successful. We all want to see XRP go up over time. And I just think this is important to understand because a lot of people vilify Ripple and say they don't care about the price of XRP. XRP is just a tool for them to dump on the market. And I could not disagree with that hard enough. Now, to be clear, this is not what King Solomon's saying. I don't think he's implying that at all. Other people put this out all the time, but it's so important to understand. Ripple has massive aspirations as a company. They want to completely change the financial sector. They want to rewire the entire financial network's plumbing. In order to do that, they're going to need a lot of money. They're going to need XRP to be a lot higher than $1 for them to solve this issue. They are going to need billions and billions of dollars, maybe even trillions of dollars one day. For that to happen, XRP is going to have to be at a higher price. It just makes everything so much easier. Think of the current Ripple SEC case we just went through. Ripple had to pay up $200 million just to get regulatory approval from the SEC. Now, obviously, if XRP was a lot higher, they would pay off that fine in the snap of a finger. XRP was lower, so it was a little more hit to ripple, but these kind of attacks are not going to stop. They are disrupting the banking cartel. They need as much capital as possible to do that. I think it is clear as day that we are actually in line with what Ripple wants. We all want the price of XRP to go up. And the main reason I just wanted to talk about this is because this seems to be, in my opinion, a misunderstanding that I see all the time. I really do think both us and Ripple all want the price of XRP to go up just as bad. It hasn't so far, but I really do think we are right around the corner from an event like that taking place simply because where we're headed. Now, the first thing I wanted to show you to kind of switch up the topic a little bit is just that the other day we actually found out that Ripple is working with over 30 central banks. Guys, this is more than 20% of the central banks in the entire world. If that doesn't let you know where this market is going, I don't know what to tell you. Ripple is a new, new company. They're just starting out with these tokenization platforms for CBDCs, and they're already working with 20% of the central banks out there. What this tells me as a bystander is Ripple is in no doubt going to have a significant place in the future financial system, and it's working with the big money that's going to cause big money to start flowing into these networks. These central banks have trillions and trillions of dollars, and hundreds of trillions of dollars or quadrillions of dollars of assets that need to be tokenized. Eventually, these assets in one way or another are going to find themselves on public blockchains. And what we can see right here is Ripple is positioning themselves and the XRP ledger to handle a large portion of that volume. And I want to finish this video off and just show you a completely separate clip. I've actually linked to CEO talking about Liquidity Hub. Now, this is also kind of unrelated to what we were talking about before, but this is super interesting. I think it's going to give you a lot of good insight on Liquidity Hub. And I just think whenever this guy Joe Endoso talks, we should listen up. He is very smart. He tends to break things down in a very unique way. Listen up to this. I think you're going to find it really interesting. You would expect large institutions, financial institutions, certainly like Bank of America to transact. I, I think it was actually quite timely and maybe fully intended uh, that Ripple created and introduced this liquidity hub product. Because what I'd be doing if I were in Ripple shoes today is I'd be integrating liquidity hub into the RippleNet product. So every user of RippleNet like Bank of America would simply port into liquidity hub as the means of obtaining and managing that XRP position that they need to work through ODL, right? Liquidity hub is just a massive, um, you know, smart router engine. It has feeds to uh, accounts that Ripple has opened across all the liquidity venues around the world. Basically, virtually every exchange where there is depth of liquidity, it has accounts at. So if I'm Bank of America, I, I become a liquidity hub customer and on any given moment or you know, where I need, you know, pick a number, a billion dollars worth of XRP to transact. I plug that into Liquidity Hub and Liquidity Hub will break that billion dollars up 
into fractions and route them for execution and closing across all the exchanges to get the optimal average acquisition price for XRP. And then when I'm done using the XRP for ODL, I turn around and I go the opposite direction and I have that same smart engine route my sell order and go back to cash. And that's what I want to do. Sell the XRP across all the venues to get the optimal price for Bank of America, right? And at no time do I ever have to be in a position where I'm actually taking XRP from Ripple itself. I'm doing it through all of these exchanges. And what Ripple will be do in that instance is it'll be on an ongoing basis looking at the XRP available across all those exchanges worldwide and just distributing XRP through those exchanges. It, it, it will sell XRP into those exchanges to create supply. I thought that was one of the best breakdowns of Liquidity Hub I have heard in a while. He really breaks it down from a strategic stance from Ripple side of things. It really helped me understand how Liquidity Hub is going to be used in the future. And the last thing I'll say is the way Ripple is packaging these products together and offering them to financial institutions like the Bank of America example Joe used in this video. It really makes me think that Ripple is going to be the Amazon of crypto, this game changing company that offers all the critical infrastructure for our future financial system. And it looks like to me that will all be based around XRP. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed this update. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. It really does mean so much. And for now, Mickle out. <laughs>